Emily, you got the rescheduled bout, canceled bout, change of opponents. I mean, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. I guess what's this whole process been like for you? Yeah, it's been interesting. I spent 10 weeks um, preparing for Poliana. Then she asked to push it three weeks. I agreed. And then she pulls out, and I get loopy. So it is what it is. I'm excited. Um, I've put a lot of effort into you know making sure everything on my end is sharp. So um, the opponent makes no difference. I'm ready to go. The training schedule when you push it, first of all, I mean, that's a little tough, right, because you don't want to overpeak too early. Or I guess what was your approach to that? Did you take a break, or did you just stay in the gym? What was the plan? I ate some good food for a couple of days. I said, you know, my coach plans everything. So um, he said, we don't want to peak too early. We're going to readjust a little bit. So I took that weekend, um, a little bit of rest, a little bit of food, and we got right back on it the next week. And everything has been planned and prepared. So everything's been good. Like I said, you got Loopy on short notice. Uh, you know, we always talk about the opponent that steps in on short notice. You got to take a short notice fight too. Um, I guess what was the discussion like? I mean, was there any discussion? Was it like, I just got to get a fight at this point? Or did you talk about, well, do we like this matchup? How did that process go? Um, so Poliana and Loopy are not very similar opponents. You know, one is tall and long, one's jujitsu, one is shorter like me, same, same size. Um, and just loves to fight and strike. So very different, but like I said, you know, we put a lot of emphasis on, on my skill set this camp. So at the end of the day, it really was, do I want to fight or not? Um, and I do. So we accepted um, a little bit of a catch weight, and that's it. Does the catch weight change much for you particularly? Or is it just about just less of a weight cut? I mean, just less of a weight cut, yeah. just a tad. Nice. Um, a former opponent in the main event. I mean, this whole card has been reshuffled away. But when you see a former opponent in the main event, I just I wonder if that does anything for you. Like, man, I was I was right there. Yeah, I actually uh, had the opportunity to go out and train with uh, Angela Hill and Jessica Penny this camp. So before I even knew, you know, at the very beginning when I first got Poliana. So um, it's cool. I I'm excited that she's on the card, and um, I haven't bumped into her yet. But um, it's a great fight for her, and I'm excited to see it. Nice. Your mindset, I wonder, you know, you had this nice win streak coming in, and then you did have that setback. I mean, does, I guess, was it difficult to move past that? Like, what did you take out of, uh, out of that setback? Yeah, that fight just sucked, honestly. Um, it sucked. Um, I went home. I kind of took a few days, and then I really got down to assess, you know, what I felt like happened in that fight and to, to move on. You know, I can't get stuck on a fight like that. You know, I've, I've been fighting for a while, so I'm not stuck on a loss. You know, you just got to put it put it away and then do what you can to make sure that doesn't happen like that again. And so we, we addressed everything. We changed camp a little bit. We implemented some new things. And, and I'm really excited just to fight, to be back here. Nice. Last thing for me, I mean, a, a win here, I guess, what's the plan? You know, like I said, you had that nice win streak. Uh, you're training with your former uh, opponents. Uh, I mean, is it you want to get back in there as quickly as possible? Is it take some time off? Because you've had, I'm sure, a really, really long training camp now. What, what's the plan after victory here? I want to fight, I want to get back on track, and then I want to stay as active as possible.